Boy, the numbers are astounding. Some U.S. states are surpassing entire countries when it comes to the number of coronavirus cases. The total number of cases in the U.S. is now more than 3 million. A record 60,000 cases reported in just 24 hours. The biggest increase ever reported by a country in a single day. And more than 132,000 lives have now been lost. 800 more Americans died just in the last 24 hours. And here in Colorado, more than 450 positive cases were reported just today. The largest single day jump in cases since May 29. And there's really no sign this pandemic slowing anytime soon. And our health care workers on the front lines are exhausted. While we're staying home, they're working tirelessly to make sure that Coloradans are safe. Denver 7's Eddie Guajardo sat down with one paramedic who details the emotional toll this has taken on her life. The screeching of the sirens can make your head spin. And for paramedics on the front lines of the coronavirus crisis, it's overwhelming. I saw more deaths than I have in probably a year combined. This paramedic with Denver Health Workers United didn't want to go on camera or use her voice out of fear of losing her job. In 10 shifts, she says she lost 10 patients. Faces and names that keep her up at night, and it's not over. If I have a COVID positive experience, I'll go home and cry. She may wear a uniform, but her duties go beyond the job description when she looks into her patient's eyes. I'm wondering if this is it. This is the last conversation that this person is gonna have. Is it gonna be with me? Sometimes the only thing I can do is is take them to the hospital and, and hold their hand along the way. She fears for her patients and for herself. Going into COVID positive buildings, having to reuse our N95 masks, having to put on this riot gear and not knowing whether you're actually going to make it home. She's worked in the medical field more than two decades and for the first time suited up in riot gear for a protest. One of my coworkers was completely traumatized when he got backed into a wall and the crowd started to come at him thinking he was a cop. Do you feel burned out? Yeah, it's, it's hard to continue doing this every day. It's hard to think about, you know, if this is just the first wave, how much longer can anybody keep doing this? What message do you have for people out there that don't want to wear a mask? Come to a ride along with me in my ambulance and I'll show you the importance of wearing a mask. And I'll show you what it really looks like to have to take care of these extremely sick people that are dying right in front of your eyes. Addie Guajardo, Denver 7.